Victorian company HRL wants to build a new power station in Victoria using clean coal technology, but clean coal technology doesn't exist. This project will turn brown coal essentially into black coal. That's still coal, and the project would add 4.2 million tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions to Victoria's total emissions each year. This is going in the completely wrong direction. We need funding for renewable energy now, and the government should take its $50 million out of this coal project and put it into real renewable energy projects. What do we want? But, uh, HR's HR's coal. Coal. What do we know? You can't, can't clean coal. coal. HRL, the new HRL plant will, um, will bring at least three new jobs to the valley. <laughs> and I think, I mean, you can say all you like about clean air and a planet for your children and other such nonsense, but I think what the broader public understands is that there's no jobs on a clean planet. There's no jobs on a dead planet, I think is the phrase that you might have heard before. Uh, Getting confused there? Nah, jobs. nah, there's no jobs on a clean planet. That's ridiculous. So apparently this technology makes coal only as clean as black coal. That makes this still a, a coal power station, is that right? Uh, uh, could you please rephrase the question? How does it work? Well, basically, it's called integrated gasification dried combined cycle. And basically, we take what is known as the traditional black coal and we then proceed to clean the black coal by, sorry, the brown coal by drying it out. And in that process, we actually end up with a outcome and a product of brown coal, sorry, black coal. And this new um, black coal, so this now actually emits what your traditional normal coal-fired power station would emit. So we're actually making some headway here with this groundbreaking technology that's transitioning us away from our addiction to brown coal to new black coal in Victoria. So how much energy does it take to turn brown coal into black coal? That's a very good question. <laughs> you see, what you don't understand is here at HRL, we specialise in pretending that we're the saviours of climate change when actually we're the worst perpetrators and assisting the government, the Brumby government, to do the same. Oh, right. That makes sense now. Thanks. <laughs> So basically we um, have gone down to HRL today to um, let them know that we know about the new coal fired power station that's planned to go ahead in Victoria and the Latrobe Valley for next year. And in terms of the funding for the project, um, Brumby's giving it $50 million. Um, this is absolute climate hypocrisy from Brumby who's been talking about, he's been the new um, 
MP for climate action when really when he when you look at what he's doing firstly about Hazelwood the two generators that is closing one of them unionists have said is already um, was already not working and needed replacing anyway and on top of that still this new coal-fired power station I think absolutely shows where the future direction of Victoria's energy is actually being planned for and that is uh, um, a future that's continuing its dependency on coal and fossil fuels, and we need to challenge them to shift away from to shift away from those energies to cleaner, renewable technology and green jobs. The proposed new coal-fired power station has been um, based on the idea that um, and technology that clean coal is actually going to um, produce less emissions. But if you actually look at what the actual coal-fired power station is doing, it's taking brown coal, which is one of the most polluting um, coal resources in the world, and is actually drying that to make it the equivalent of traditional black coal, which is used in all other conventional coal-fired power stations across Australia. Um, I think basically we, wanna, we want Brum to withdraw the money and funding for this project. He can actually decline the EPA's, um, the process that HRL is putting to the EPA, the Environmental Protection Association right now, he can decline the go ahead and give the green light to this coal fired power station and stop its going ahead and instead put this money um, and finances towards um, green energy and green jobs for the Latrobe Valley and for Victoria statewide as well.